What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Loving the fact that Michael Crusoe has been keeping the bodybuilding fans updated throughout his journey to his first Olympia. I'm telling you guys the sheer size of this guy that's so freaking unbelievable. I mean we saw when he hit that front double bicep in the press conference. The width is mind-boggling and every expert in the bodybuilding has been saying if Crizzo brings the condition, he is gonna be so hard to ignore and he will take down some big names as well. Milo said the guy has the potential to crack top 6. This prediction isn't based on his prog pro performance because that was far from his best. This is based on actually seeing him posing in person. We still have 14 more hours till the open prejudging and the drawing out process is in full effect. All the competitors exaggerate what they weigh on stage. And does it even matter? No, it does not. The legend Jake Hutler made a startling revelation about his own weight, debunking all these weight myths. You can ask the bodybuilding fans what was Jay's best. Most will say it was 2009. Some will say it was 2001. Do you guys know what Jake Hutler weighed in 2009? Well, hear it for yourself. It was 254. So when we when we talk about these weights, are you serious? Yeah, it was 254. I don't. You know. I yes, as wide as Jay was, as big as he was, he weighed 254 pounds that year, and pretty much the same in 2001. Just to give you guys a reference point, he weighed 273 in 2006 when he beat Ronnie Coleman for the first time. So basically, he came down 19 pounds to present arguably the best physique of his entire career. And shockingly, he looked to be at his biggest ever in 2009. Hey, so-and-so is 260 pounds and I'm like, and I'll see him in person. I'm like, I saw him at 250 and he was so, way bigger so than you. I hope guys like Brendan Curry and Derek Lansford do not focus on playing that weird game. Because at the end of the day, no judge is gonna ask how much you weigh. In that perspective, Nick Walker and Matt Jensen are headed in the right direction. Just focused on the look, not the actual weight. This was the day after the show. I was about 260 in this picture. I like the fact that Hadi Chopin is a true warrior. He hasn't run away from the fight on stage, no matter who he stood next to. We saw how he called out Phil Heath to pose next to him in 2020. He called out Brandon a couple of times in the last three years. And it has always been so close between him and Brandon Curry. So will the Persian Wolf finally make his dream come true tomorrow? He was Mr. Olympia in the eyes of many people in 2019 and in 2021 as well. Kion Pearson is about to earn the respect of thousands of bodybuilding fans around the globe. This is a few hours out of the Olympia. And this is the definition of true bodybuilding. Mass with class. Can he win the Olympia title today? I mean, if the judging is tilting towards the aesthetics this year, they would have to lean towards Kion. He looks to be in his career's best condition. And judges are gonna compare him to his last showing, which was Tampa Pro, where he was good enough to win but not at his best. So he is gonna get rewarded for bringing a better package. If he is as dry as Sean or Kamal, nobody is gonna touch him because on stage, 
It is all about that illusion. And no one can draw more eyes towards it other than Keon Pearson. So what do you guys think? Will he be in the top 3 or can he fight for the Olympia title? Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.